At the Royal Society of Victoria, it's our aim to put science to work for you. What we really want people to understand is that we live in a world of finite resources. And it's not about doing more with more, rather it's about doing more with what we already have. Our scientific community brings together the expertise needed to tackle today's challenges for a more sustainable and prosperous future. Right now, we are all faced with unprecedented challenges. We are entering an age of fire, pandemic and social disruption. What if we were able to help foster a whole new generation of resilient, empathetic and adaptable Australians? What if we could reprioritize Indigenous knowledge to be at the centre of how we understand the world around us? What if anyone, anywhere can get involved in protecting and restoring our natural heritage? What if the scientific industry could operate in a sustainable, closed-loop system? What if we could repair our soils and ecosystems by just letting the right fungi grow? What if community members could work with scientists around the world to tackle the biggest problems we're facing right now? For 166 years, the Royal Society of Victoria has supported a wide range of future-focused initiatives for the benefit of our state, our people, our industries and our environment. One of the projects we're doing here at Bioquisitive, when everything started to kick off with this pandemic, was uh, looking into COVID-19 tests. So look at what tests might be available. We started looking around online and found a really cool paper put out by New England Biolabs, which talks about using a specific type of test called LAMP. So LAMP is similar to the test uh, that currently uses the gold standard, which is uh, called qPCR, but it takes 15 minutes. It doesn't take three hours. When we ran our first ever regional girls innovation challenge in Gippsland in Victoria, a year later when we went back and met some of the students, they said to us that the biggest thing that happened in their town last year was the Brainstorm Innovation Challenge. I sometimes imagine, you know, you wake up and you're on a spaceship and someone tells you that your air's running out, the temperature's increasing, your fuel's running out, uh, and some of the passengers are dying at an increasing rate every day. And if you think of Earth as a spaceship, we're all kind of the crew. And you can have different responses. You can say everything's fine, or you can use the scientific method to go, what are we trying to achieve here? Just as we try to preserve old text through digitization, we're also trying to help preserve the skies by looking at different ways that we can utilize modern technology like lighting. What types of lights do we use? How are they angled? How can we go about helping to ensure that we get the light we need, but also to not drown out the stars and erase that map of indigenous knowledge? What if outdated equipment from professional labs became brand new equipment for high school labs? The way that I see it, we are the missing piece in the puzzle for many of these laboratories and universities that are trying to find a way to do good with whatever science equipment they no longer need to use, rather than let it collect dust and sit there in storage like, um, like many good pieces of equipment do. We're just trying to help people make that easily accessible for the next generation of scientists. We've had some horrendous fires this year. It has been just amazingly horrible in so many places and so many people have really struggled. But one of the really good things to know is that fungi already have been helping hold the soil. Drawing on the knowledge and the influence of leaders in research and industry and government, we've helped Victorians to access the best science available to inform our prosperous future together. Indigenous people have been here for tens of thousands of years and managed the landscape and survived through natural disasters. But what we're going through today is unprecedented and there's a wealth of knowledge we can learn from if we just listen. It's time to put science to work. Now is the time to support our community of scientists.